From Ormond Beach to Oak Hill, economic development leaders are working together to promote businesses on US-1. Joe Manorino, economic development director for Ormond Beach, says he and others hope a scavenger hunt will help residents rediscover US-1. With the advent of shopping centers and malls, a lot of the business is redirected. So we thought, since we're all doing economic development efforts in our communities, why not try something to refocus the attention right along the corridor again? The scavenger hunt is called Rediscover US-1, and it's the brainchild of South Daytona's redevelopment director, Patty Rippey. Last year I did a scavenger hunt just in the city of South Daytona, and then I had an idea that it might be good to do a regional project. Uh, the TPO, the local transportation planning organization, has done a study on the US-1 corridor, and a lot of the cities along US-1 have CRAs, and I thought it would be a, a good project, a good activity to bring attention to US-1. Rediscover US-1 also promotes the history of the area, like the New Bethel Church, which was established in 1885. The scavenger hunt promotes a historic landmark and four businesses in each city. And participants uh, get a copy of the questions and they visit each business and find out what the answer to the question is and then they turn the forms in at the end and they are entered into a random drawing to win prizes. The forms are available at the city halls of the eight participating cities from chambers of commerce or from the Facebook page Rediscover US-1 America's Business Highway. But this tells the dates April 11th through 19th and it explains how to answer the questions. And, and then on the back, it has the actual questions and a place for people to write the answers to the questions. Rick Frazier, executive director of the Ormond Beach Chamber of Commerce, says he believes this collaboration effort will help inform people of what's going on and what's available on US-1. One of the things we have to do with our members, Joanne, is to make sure they get a return on their investment. Their, their, their membership dues and this is one way that we think we can drive people who maybe have never been in the business before to come to a place like uh, River Grill and, and see what it's about and maybe come back and have dinner or lunch and same thing with the furniture stores and everything else that let's let's expose people who might not know that the business is there and what they do. As with many businesses those on US-1 have felt the effects of the recent recession but Rippey says as one of America's oldest business corridors US-1 has a lot to offer. We have a lot of mom and pop businesses, especially in South Daytona. Uh, we have some maybe lower rents in that area, but we also have the potential for a lot of growth, especially on the riverfront. So we want to have an active business community that's visited by all of our citizens. For The Business Beat, I'm Joanne Magley.